Hey guys, welcome back to my Inner Miami Career Mode. We're on episode five. Um, I, real quick, I wanted to thank you guys for getting me almost to my goal of 50 followers. Uh, it's only been a month now since I've really been posting on this channel, and uh, we're almost at 50 followers, so uh, I'm really pumped up about it. But that's more than one a day, by the way, which is uh, awesome for me. I can't believe you guys are responding like you are. You guys are giving me good stuff in the comments. Um, a lot of likes, a lot of views, and just really appreciate you guys. Anyways, so um, if you've been following the Inter Miami Career Mode, we had a little bit of a slow start. We thought we had like 150 assists uh, in the first couple games, but we really only had like three. So Messi's like I think in third place on the assist um, on the assist chart here. Let's see. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna pull it up. Yeah, so we uh, we have, well, we'll start off with this. We have eight goals in eight matches, which is awesome. Uh, and yeah, we're in fourth. So right behind Zardes, which is, I'm okay with being behind Araujo and Mukhtar, but Zardes is not, not the informed player I'm looking to to have in front of me. But none, nonetheless, let's play some, let's play some matches here. I would really like to, I'm okay with that. I'd really like to get Messi higher up on the assists. We are not going to be the uh, China coach. Oh, Frazier, Brandon Frazier. So he's uh, one of our um, star. Whoa, he's, he's definitely a star youth academy player. Um, so I think he's about to make the team. He is 100% about to be on this team. I think we're, let's just do it. I really like, on the potential numbers, I really like for those to be a little bit tighter. So I have a little bit more of an idea, like am I looking for him to become an 80? Uh, you know, if he's just a slow grower, but he's gonna become a 94, I kinda wanna keep him until he's upper 80s before I sell him, because that's a lot more money. But. Let's set up a development plan and then put him on the first team because he could play right now. Um, I'm really glad that worked out, switching him to right wing. He just went out. He jumped up 10 overall points. So uh, that's awesome. I think I, I think I want to go like that. Boom. All right, let's put you on the team, dude. Even if, even if he's a 77 overall one day, I'm thrilled with that. That's, that's perfect. He'll fit in the league just fine. All right, let's. I tell you what. Let's before we go on. Let's add him to the squad. Uh, da, 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 da. Frazier, you are in the squad, my friend. Arroyo, you're gonna hang out at the bottom while you're injured. And who do I? I think. Let's see the age of these guys. Twenty-seven. So I can. Put him in for him or Robinson. I think Rob, well, just because of the age, I almost want to put Taylor down. We don't need, we need one of those traded out for a right mid anyway. Let's see speed wise, who's, man, they're so similar. So similar. But Taylor's just better. So I'm going to take Robinson off, put Frazier in, and uh, wow. He fits right in the squad. That's going to be fun. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. All righty. Miami versus New England in New England. Uh, we're going to play this game. I'm definitely going to take a look at the calendar here in a few minutes and uh, pick and choose a few to play. But we are a couple months away from our reinforcements. And there's our stud, Lionel Messi. Um, but we're only a couple months. We're, we're April, so we're you know, three months away, two months away from uh, adding Busquets and Di Maria. Some of the rumored players uh, that could join Miami. I'd love to see it. Shaquille. Jean Mota on defense. Messi, ball passed right around him. And New England's taking a, <laughs> taking a direct and beelined it to our our uh, our defensive third 
Gene. Can you play Martinez through? And Martinez play Gene Mota through. Gene Mota with a shot on goal in its upper 90, top bin 90s. And, 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 and just like that, Miami is up one to nothing. Messi didn't have to touch that one. Drinking the tea, doing the Alex Morgan celebration. Love it. <laughs> Martinez is just in the background, just having a rave. That's, that's pretty interesting. One goal in his first seven matches with the team this year, might I say. I don't actually know anything about Gene Mota, so I don't know how long he's been on the squad, but yeah. My, I know Miami's had a lot of turnover in their history, so yeah, there is a chance he's in his first year, but uh, let me know in the comments if you're a Miami fan or if you know. I, uh, I'm not sure. I got myself into a conversation that I wasn't uh, really that privy to. Messi might have been off sides, and he was, but the crowd goes wild anyway. Not New England. I will be interested to see, you know, as Messi has sold out, I think, every stadium in the MLS, everyone that he's going to be playing, uh, for all the matches that he's going to be playing in, I'll be interested to see, like, if Messi's, like, I'm going to be going to the one in Charlotte. If Messi scores or does something brilliant, does the whole crowd get into it? Kind of like when LeBron comes to play your favorite NBA team and everybody cheers for LeBron the entire time. You're, like, cheering for th that one player and your team. You're like, I want the Hornets to win, but I want LeBron to be lights out. But if he's lights out, the Hornets probably aren't going to win. Um... So I wonder how that's going to be with Messi. I think I think I think it's going to be like that. I think I'm definitely going to be in awe of anything that he does that I can't do, which is everything that he does. Oh, and Martinez broken free. Can he find Messi off to the left or to the right? And Messi, oh, with a spectacular finish, but it's blocked by the goalie. It looks like he might have hit his head on the way down to the ground. What a fin finish! I mean. A knack for the flare. Negley on the corner. Negley sends it in. Martinez, the recipient, but unable to get his head to it before the defender does get away. Jean Mota rips one and it's over the bar, going for his second of the game and his second of the year, in fact. Valiant effort, but just not, just not low enough. Couldn't get that ball to, to dip. It was going high the entire time. Petrovic. Plays the ball in. Gregor defending. Negley says he's offsides, and the ref agrees. Negley, Gonzalez Perez. Oh, Perez just gets rocked. Doesn't see how fast the guy's coming. Stefanelli. Stefanelli plays Martinez in. Martinez. Oh, he tries to play Messi in, but Messi and Martinez were just thinking different things. Gene Malta with a wonderful steal. Tries to keep the ball in play, but it's, it's out, according to the sideline ref. Uh, I guess we'll trust him. For the most part, they're right on FIFA. In real life, MLS, uh, if you're not an MLS fan, uh, MLS refs have received a lot of criticism, really since the instatement of VAR. The, the, their performance has declined pretty steadily. Uh, so if you're if you're new to the MLS and you're going to be watching some games, prepare yourself for that. You know it's it's uh, as the player pool gets better and better, it it's the one piece of the puzzle that needs to needs to be greatly improved upon. Let me get the ball away. I'm really looking forward to uh, letting our wonder kid make an appearance. The right winger who uh, might just be the next Messi and be learning from him very soon. I'm sure he has been in practice all week this week. I'm really excited to see what he can do. Messi on a breakaway tries to play Joseph Martinez in. It was a wonderful ball. Joseph Martinez just 
not quite catching on quick enough to the idea. Oh, causing us to slide. I think that was Gregor Gonzalez Perez. Oh, and just, oh, just resilience from Altador just tanks his way through. If, uh, if, if Derek Jones is the velvet tank, then Altador is just like, he's like a clunky tank who could finish. Just a big dude. He can, you know, he's, 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 he's a big presence. Nice played back through to Martinez. Martinez still with the ball at his feet. Tries to play Messi in. And he's unable to do so. Doesn't work out. Doesn't work in his favor that time. It's a couple times now. When the 70th minute, so the next time the ball goes out of play, I want some changes to be made. First and foremost, Frazier is going to be coming in for Jean. Yeah, Frazier's coming in for Jean. He can play right wing, right back, and left back. I like that because it gives him a lot more opportunity to play. Martinez. Oh, I don't really want to take Martinez out, but I need Campania to get more playing time. So Campania is going in. Miller for Kristoff. McVeigh, how old are you? Pizarro, you're old. Not old, but you know what I mean. No, I'm going to go. I think, I, I, I think I'm going to stick with this. So next, at the next break, the next uh, set piece or throw in or goal kick, we're going to have a change and we will see our young stud, our wonder kid in action for the first time in MLS play. And Gene is on a breakaway. And he's got space. Can he get the ball? And he does right before we take him out. For his future replacement, he scores. He says, that's what I'm talking about, coach. How can you take me out now? But uh, we've already done it, so it, it's going to happen. Sorry, Gene. Love you for scoring that goal. Putting us in the lead 2-1. to one. But, yeah, we're still taking you out. Let's see. Our new man, Brandon Frazier, I believe is his name. Tries to play the ball through, but it is deflected. Uh, he he kind of wanted a foul there, and I can't say that I blame him. Plays the ball in, and it's a header, and it's almost a goal. The goalie is just able to parry it off to the left side of the post. What a wonderful little finish there. That was Campania and Frazier hooking up. And uh, Negley on the corner. Swing this thing in from wide. Very nice. Gonzalo, Gonzalo Pirlez, the man chasing the ball. And Gregor plays to Negley. Negley plays out to Frazier. We're gonna run it through Frazier for a moment. Give him some opportunities to impress, and that is a deflection that should result in a corner. But instead, it results in the end of the game. Full time, two to one. Uh, a couple of really, really great opportunities there. And a debut from Brandon Frazier. Is he the next? Messi. I don't know. We'll see. He's definitely a great, great player for us. And if we had waited just a few more days, we probably could have seen his potential range um, get a little bit tighter. I'm not really loving any of those guys, <laughs> so um, but that is okay. It's more than okay. Let's go over to, yeah, transfers. Let's check out our youth staff. A 
Austria Klagenfurt Klagen Klagenfurt Klagenfurt Australia Austria sorry uh, took that guy away from us Jeremy Lee I'm gonna bring him on uh, just because he's actually better than some of the other guys we got on the U squad right now so I would really like to keep it honest. The Neville loan offer, the 19 year old. Um, let's see. I want just a regular old loan, and two years would be good. Send them out. Monthly scouting report. I was just checking this out a second ago. Wow, we might have two studs on our hand here. Frank Bailey. We're going to sign him. And then we're going to take a look at Luke Bishop. Uh, looks like he might play a defensive or winger role. Which is nice. We'll go check those guys out real quick. See what overall they are. I love the I love the Youth Academy game here. I like uh, Football Manager. Some of the depth that they have, but I like this Youth Academy setup a whole lot more. I wish that we started off with like a full Youth Academy, and then we could have like a reserve team and play. Uh, like actually see them getting time, but. And get reports on their loans and stuff. That'd be cool. But it is what it is. Right back. Left mid, center mid. Uh, both these dudes. Looking really, really good. Let's see. Let's get the development set up. 15 year old for sure. Right, pace 64. He's definitely, I, I, I definitely think that he is a, uh, a right back or left back. So, just out of curiosity, he could be a better center back, actually. Because of his physicality, I feel like I should change him over to center back. I'm going to do this. And what I want you guys to do is hop in the comments and let me know if you want to see him playing left back, right back, or if you want to see him playing center back. I'm definitely thinking Luke Bishop is a center back. Um, but he has the speed to play on the wing. Um, definitely has the speed to play the, on, on the wing, but the physicality just makes me think that that's where he needs to be. Now the left mid, Frank Bailey. I think this kid's in the right position, honestly. He's definitely going to be some sort of inverted. He's going to be a shooter, I can tell. He's going to like a Kieran Vargas type character. Um, let's see. Cool. Well, let's roll on, y'all. Let's get another game under wraps. Right now, Miami is sitting in second place, one point behind. Uh, but Orlando is not far off, and Atlanta is not far off. We're starting to get a little bit of separation. But they have two games uh, that they can, you know, if we lose two games or if we slip for two games, it's going to get tough on us. So we are two months away from reinforcements and Charlotte FC has invited us to come play a game and we're going to go. Neville has got that two-year loan agreement. Good for you, son. And Charlotte sitting on 12 points. Mm, that hurts. Petty Miram, Gaines, Santos, Bronico, Westwood, Milana, Carujo, Lindsay, Marks, and Mora. I'd, I'd be surprised they don't have Spoderski in there unless they sold him, which, you know. But we are going to play this game for sure, 100%. Uh, very excited about it. I'm going to put Frazier in here. I'm going to give him a start. I just feel like his development is uh, is worth it. Arroyo is still struggling, uh, still recovering from his injury. It'll be interesting to see how long that takes. All right, so let's do this thing. I think that's what I want to roll with. Play match. So this would have been, in FIFA terms, this would have been Charlotte FC's very first season. 
Now, of course, they did not have Enzo Capetti or Nuno Santos. Look at Nuno Santos. They also don't have Nuno Santos now. Him and Shinichiki both kind of out of favor after some uh, off-the-field issues. And Capetti, just like that, tucks one in the bottom left-hand corner, and Argoli does nothing about it. Um, really not sure who we have in goal. Let me check calendar. Go goalie is a position I would really like to find something for pretty quick. I'll tell you what, the way that Charlotte came out, I don't see how this game has them with only 12, 12 points. They look good on here. Or we are just that bad. Or just a bad matchup, I'm not really sure. All right, Frazier. Oh, what a wonderful touch. Westwood tracks him down in the middle. But Frazier continues the... And he gives it to Messi, and Messi finishes with the outside of his left foot. That's a, that's, that was an amazing finish. And Frazier, with his first stat of any kind, assisting a wonderful goal from Messi. And Messi bows. Jean Mota, Yedlin, Frazier all celebrate, as does the away section here in Charlotte, North Carolina, at the bank. And uh, sadly, this stadium doesn't look anything like it, so it's always fun. Bronico. Oh, Messi could have had that interception there had he stepped. Gene Mota, Yedlin, to Christoph, Christoph, to Gregor. Oh, and Gregor gives it away. Oh, a very wonderful interception there. A block, like you say. Messi, oh, Messi versus Nuno Santos. And Nuno Santos comes away with that ball after Messi takes a touch. Uh, about a mile and a half too long. Oh, and oh, Capetti with wonderful positioning makes it two to one. And this is gonna be a battle, you guys. This is gonna be back and forth. Martinez on the ball, takes a good touch. Oh, Carujo collects it. We get some sort of press going on here. We need to, we're giving them way too much space. Moving the ball really, really quick. And Frazier uh, has it on the right wing here. Nice. Once again, taking a nice little touch. Able to weave in and out of people here. Is he going to get another assist to Messi? He almost does. Had he tried to send it over the top of his player instead of through the player, probably would have. Nice one touch from Yedlin, U.S. men's national team player. Oh, Frazier with another just splitting run. Reminding me of what we like to do over there on the Obed Park is career mode. By the way, if you if you have not watched, uh, if you this is the only thing you've watched of mine. Uh, and you have started from episode one. If you haven't, you know, go to episode one. Uh, if you have, um, also go check out my Obed Vargas career mode. Obed Vargas is a player who started um, his professional journey during COVID when a Seattle squad was wearing thin and uh, had to call up a lot of youth players. Uh, there's two or three of them that really popped during that stretch of time. Um, where a lot of guys were out for COVID protocol and you know Obed Vargas is one of them and he started playing professionally and getting minutes at 16 and now he in the career mode he's still he's still playing in real life for Seattle Sounders but in his career mode we've played with Atalanta and now we're at Barcelona and we're probably going to be there for a while and there was my uh, suggestion to their lineup this entire time. Swiderski is checked into the match. Let's see what position he's going to be playing in. A 
Ooh, that was a weird ball. It does look like that's going to go our way somehow, though I have no clue what they even called there. Uh, but, okay. Thank you, sir. And Messi's going to have a shot, and it's going to be deflected. But we're, we're going to be able to maintain this, and Messi's going to get another shot off. It's just that was going for the stands the entire time. Petty is talking trash, I can tell. He's probably running around, yelling at the ref. Just like he always does. And that's okay with me. Gene Mota. By the way, I also uh, wanted to mention, somebody asked me about our Charlotte, that's going to be offsides, our Charlotte FC career mode that me and my buddies have together. We are still going to do that. That is not uh, lost. So don't feel like it is. We're going to finish that before uh, the new game comes out. Or either that or pick it up when the new game comes out. So do not feel like that is not going to happen because it is. Uh, I appreciate you guys asking about it. Uh, there's a couple episodes up right now. You can go check those out as well. Um more of a just a couple guys sitting around playing and uh, chatting kind of vibe which I enjoy I enjoy a lot hopefully you guys do too and I during this time I'm just a little stunned and lost for words right now speechless might you say Dan and Che uh, Nuno Santos just I thought we were defending that a little bit of play pretty well but Nuno Santos just scored a galazzo Absolutely rips it from outside the box, and we are three to one, y'all. We are not in good shape here. I've been talking way too much, maybe. Uh, Enzo Capetti shuts down our young player, Frazier. It's definitely okay. I, I, I gotta make some subs, <laughs> I don't want that to go on too much longer. Hmm. McVay is a guy he's, he's a guy I'm just really not rating that highly right now there's no need I mean Pizarro can come in for Stefanelli and Taylor Frazier's just not tired I just don't see a need other than speed need for speed Gene can Gene play any, Gene can play striker I would rather Gene up there than putting Campagna Plugging him back into the striker position. Can we save that? We do. Good job. Oh, and it almost results in a Charlotte opportunity there. Or it does result in an opportunity, but it almost results in a goal. Pretty straightforward. And Mc McKenzie Gaines gets a shot on goal and ends up out for a corner kick anyway. We could have just let it go out the first time around. So. Uh, we made some changes. Let's see if this helps at all. You know, there's just there's, there's no reason to to play the rest of this game. Oh, Messi scored in the 88th minute. Awesome. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's good for stats, right? Um, so now he's on nine goals, I believe, for the season in ten games. Let's real quick, let's check out who is coming up on the calendar. Because I would really like to, in the next episode, get to when our new players are coming in. So to do that, we need to get through June. Let's just see what happens if we, if, if we, yeah. Yeah, let's do it through there, and then I'll stop it at the Portland Timbers game if we're struggling. A 3-2 win against DC United. A zero to one win, a one to zero win against Philadelphia, and a draw against the Red Bull. I'm gonna to want to stop it here because I want to check my inbox, which is absolutely, absolutely um, full. I'm gonna delegate that a two-year loan would be awesome for the 18-year-old from Dominican Republic. I think we had another one, didn't we? I'm going to do these off the email. Uh, bishop position change. Yeah, 
get us an offer withdrawn. The Canada, the Canada national team would be interesting. I like these two-year loans because it's, it's just a little bit less maintenance. And trying to get guys, I've noticed like trying to get guys loaned out like all the time, you know, is is difficult. So like for instance, they may not get, they may not get an offer until the summer, like this situation, right, with uh, Ruiz where he's gonna have, he's gonna be on a short, I missed one there, or he's gonna, he's gonna be on a short loan um, he may not get that offer until then, and he's going to have a short loan, and then the next year he's still only going to play half a year. And I want him somewhere where he can kind of go, get comfortable, settle in, earn some playing time, uh, and go from there. But with that being said, it doesn't always work that way. I've already dealt with that one. Progress assessment. Hmm. What's it mad about? Probably my financial goals. Makes a lot of sense. We've lost money more than anything. But as long as we win, as long as we win, we'll be okay. Monthly scouting report. Let's see if there's any more. Is the game going to gift us with any more great talents? That guy's not one. Kyle Adams is, I don't think, you know, nobody's ever going to know his name. A little mean, but it's the truth. Uh, you're not bad, Walter Kelly. Get out of, get out of here. Mason Miller. All right. So I'm basically keeping anybody who has a potential, uh, top potential above 80. I'm keeping. Oh, Luke Bishop, moving to a center back, but he's also not looking like that great of a player right now. He's still 89 overall top potential, so I'm not going to judge him too soon, but that range is looking worrying. And meanwhile, our, our guy here, Frank Bailey, is getting better and better and better. Um, I'd really be interested to see how he would look as a winger as we do play He could do it. His speed would be. He could be a striker too. Uh, let's go with left winger. It'd be awesome if we had two wonder kids, one on the left wing, one on the right wing. So I'll tell you what, you guys let me know. What do you think about me becoming the manager of the Canadian national team? I will let this post uh, and get your feedback. No, I don't want to delete that. Position chain, yeah, we've already done that, okay. Everything's looking good. Um, we have one more game to play. We're gonna play Atlanta United in the US Open Cup. Here we go. By the way, I do have like a slightly different um, posting schedule. I didn't really expect for you guys to dig this Inner Miami career mode as much as you have. Uh, so thank you, first of all. Uh, really appreciate it. Second of all, uh, so I went ahead and I'm, I'm kind of splitting time. So I'm basically posting every other day uh, an episode of each. So. On Mo I, th I think like last week, Monday and Tuesday, I posted. Uh, I posted Inner Miami. Or, I'm sorry, Monday and yes, go Martinez, Jean Mota, I believe, over there on the right wing, or Jean, uh, just the single Jean, with the assist. But yes, yeah, so I'm. I'm, uh, I'm. 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 I think Monday and Wednesday and Friday, I posted. Enter Miami and Tuesday and Thursday I posted the Opet Vargas career mode um, and I think I'm going to continue that way and, and maybe just alternate them basically this week I'll do 
I think it's the other way around too. I think I did Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday with Inter Miami, and then uh, Obed Vargas in between. And I don't think I posted Friday, so it's just Monday and Wednesday. And I'm going to continue that. I'm just going to switch it around. So it's like this week. It's going to it's going to be um, Obed Vargas getting three episodes posted in this one only getting two uh, we are going to move really quick through that uh, the rest of the Obed Vargas career mode so you guys hold tight with that it's going to be a lot of fun Messi oh with a shot should have took it earlier but enough about the the, the schedule I'm ready to dig in this game this would be uh, Messi I believe we've only played one U.S. Open Cup match, so this is his second U.S. Open Cup match. It's crazy, absolutely crazy to think that that uh, Lionel Messi, the greatest soccer player of all time, is going to be playing in the U.S. Open Cup. It's insane. Uh, some of the stadiums that he'll be playing in, it's going to be really cool to see him in those environments. Uh, it's going to remind me of, you know, when you see him play for uh, you know against small Spanish clubs or something, when he was playing for Barcelona, it's always interesting to see that. Or some of the smaller uh, South American countries that they go to, it's like watching you know, Pulisic play in Haiti. You know, all the governments being overthrown down the street. It's insane. It's really makes for a spectacle that you just can't. He just can't make it up, you know. Martinez. Ooh, and Messi almost able to play him through, but just not quite on the same page. Gene Mota. Tracking his man down. Gets by him. Kristoff. Defending. Makes it block, but it's, it's, it's able to get past him, and Atlanta almost, almost ties it up. In the 44th minute, uh, dead on. Here we are, in the, there's a corner. Can we get some kind of pressure here? Force a turnover. This is an Atlanta United team who spends money well. Uh, not always able to put the pieces together. Uh, don't really have a perennial perennial coach, a, a, a guy who's going to come in and coach and be there for a long time. Um, they really need, uh, they're really a great coach who's willing to stay for for a decade away from being a powerhouse, a, a perennial powerhouse. I think that's uh, what I was trying to use that word for earlier. I was talking about the coach. I'm going to put Frazier in here at halftime. I meant to start him. Um... Hopefully Gene does not take any offense to it. Good interception from Messi. Gene Mota. Oh, Gene Mota. Martinez. In for Stefanelli, but it's going to be offsides. Stefanelli and Martinez were absolutely on the same page there. Gene Mota. Messi. Messi, Martinez, Martinez to Atlanta. Atlanta taking the ball the other direction now. Negley playing defense. Gonzalez Perez. Oh, and a rough tackle, but it, it, in some ways might have affected the outcome in that situation, but it does not in the end. Yedlin unable to close his man down. And... Uh, Calendar lets one by him. It's one to one. Uh, Atlanta versus Miami. In Miami. Messi on a splitting run. Wanting to fix the situation himself. And he does! Just like that. It's two to one in the US Open Cup. And uh every team's dream of not having to play overtime is becoming closer and closer to reality. Messi just tucks one. Past the goalkeeper, says, you know what? We're going to get this thing back ASAP. And just takes it himself. He hockey assisted and assisted himself. All on the dribble. 
and Atlanta tries to strike back just right, just like that. Yedlin now piercing down the sideline. Can he take the right touch? He does. Whoop, cuts it back. Finds himself inside. Almost. Oh, Martinez almost. He, he, he makes a block there in the box, but he's unable to get, get control of the ball. But that's what I want to see. I want to see some more players higher in the pitch. So when we lose the ball in, our, in the attacking third, I would love it if 25% of the time we were we were um, you know contesting the uh, the defense trying to play out of the back. You know, I don't want. There's a lot of clean lanes right now. Like if when they're playing out of the back, they kind of have free reign to do so. And this might be Frazier's first goal in a Miami pink jersey, and he does. It's three to one. We're we are upset about our four to two loss in the last outing against Charlotte FC, um, a team that looked a lot better than the place in which they are in the league. But this is a great team here, at Atlanta. So. Punishing them helps solve, helps helps secure the the idea that that last game out was a fluke, and that's what you'd be hoping to do. Gene Mota just running around in the midfield like a chicken with his head cut off, doing its thing. Ooh, Gene Mota trying to play Messi in, but takes one extra touch. Christoph. Gonzalez Perez calls for the offsides and the ref gives it to him. We're gonna change out some guys now. Cabana up top. Miller in for Gonzalez Perez. This time Christoph will stay in. Taylor in for Stefanelli. And I do think uh, Pizarro in for Messi. Give the man a break. He's absolutely won this game for us today. So, I, and honestly, so far, this experiment uh, of trying to see what it's like to build a super team in the MLS around Messi, uh, the first half of this season is really about seeing Messi with the players that are already there. Um, the second half of the season, uh, we're going to have Busquets and Di Maria coming in, so it's going to be about starting to build that super team. And I'm assuming that Messi will sign another contract with us, a one-year extension, uh, and hopefully he doesn't retire. He probably will at some point. <laughs> but I want to see, you know, how long can that continue on, like like where the effect of Messi is going to be. A lot of the young guys are going to be coming into our academy. Uh, we're going to have some wonder kids spit out from our academy, and I'm really pumped up about it. You guys, my name is Jono. I don't think I introduced myself at the beginning of this episode, but it's episode five of the Inner Miami Career Mode. Uh, in the next episode, that's right, there's going to be a next episode. And in the next episode, we are going to be adding two new faces to our team right in the middle of the dang episode. We're going to pick one more game this season to play with just Messi, and we're going to, we're, we're going to make it all about him. We're going to break my rule of playing team soccer, and we are going to play messy soccer. We're going to feed him the ball, see what kind of stats we can rack up before we uh, we add in a few more players, make this a super club, a super team. Uh, love you guys. Comment, uh, like, subscribe, do all those things. You guys have been killing it for me. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, we're almost to 50 likes, Whenever or subscribers. Whenever we get to 50 subscribers, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll do something special for you. I'll do a one, one-off episode of anything you want. Um, and you guys can suggest and decide. And we will celebrate. And then we'll set a new goal. And we'll go for it. So probably be 100. So peace out. Love you guys.